Hello, welcome back to today's video, which you know, you know see, Chris, you can see what it is from the um, title screen. Now, I've gone back to using Spectaculator for this. It's a game I've wanted to do a standalone video of for a while, but I've never happened across a, um, a copy of the tape, um, so I didn't want to put it off any longer. Um, I have featured this game briefly in my Top 10 Games to Recommend video, which I did last year, which I'll drop a link uh, in the description box below if you want to check that out. I always really enjoyed this game, and I think it kind of gets overlooked. It is a really, really um, good game, released by PSS in 1984, um, written by Colin Stewart, as you can see on the screen there. Now, the um, premise of it is you play Frankenstein, and you've got to go around every other screen, collecting the bits of uh, the monster to assemble them, and then uh, activate the plunger at the top to breathe the life of it. Blah, breathe the electricity of life um, into him and then every other screen after uh, a sort of creation screen is um, like a kind of Kong type sort of screen where um, Frankenstein's monster is uh, pushing various bits and pieces like barrels from the top of the screen and you've got to uh, avoid them now it's a bit different from other platform games in that you can't jump over the enemies etc as you can see here there's um, littered about the levels are these purple spring pads which you press space um, when you get to one and it will fire you up and if you want to go down um, those blue poles there exactly the same thing you stand on them and press space to activate controls are really simple Z X and space now um, if you're young enough to be lucky enough not to remember who big-hearted Arthur Askey is um, that's who Frankenstein reminds me of um, with his sort of glasses and uh, and stuff there now I always found this um, without you guessed it being very good at it I always found this a really really sort of charming game um, and I played it a fair bit back in the day I don't think I ever completed it I've come to this um, apart from that sort of uh, gameplay segment that I mentioned in the, the other video I've not played this for about um, 30 odd years and I've resisted the temptation as I do to uh, visit YouTube, uh, visit the RZX archive channel and look at um, playthroughs etc because I wouldn't have had that opportunity back in the day so I sort of uh, tried to exercise a bit of discipline um, there. So I apologise if I sound a bit bunged up, I've just come back from swimming with my daughter and me being me, I sort of jumped off the uh, the top diving board and not only did I squash my bollocks but I've got about half a gallon of water up my nose and um, I'm all a bit bunged up still but um, that's by the by um, really 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 nice game now as I've um, said before as I say in all the videos if you have any um, recollection of this game what is it did you enjoy it did you think it was meh? did you um, or is it uh, this completely new to am I opening your eyes to um, Frankenstein from PSS um, and is it something that you like the look of? Uh, will you check it out yourselves if uh, if this is your first sort of go at it? Now this is the screen that I mentioned. They sort of um, they alternate between creation and this sort of Kong type um, <coughs> setup here, where you've got to sort of make your way up to the top and the plunger, etc. Um, yeah, I, I, I had fun recording this. It was um, it was good, and that's that's what it's about. Just sort of having fun. It's nice and simple. You've got to sort of think about it. Luckily for me, you're not up against any kind of time limit, which means um, you know you've got time to have a, a sort of look around the level and find out which way uh, is the best way to attack it. As you can see, the enemies go at different speeds, so you've got to take that into account um, when you're sort of planning your way around. But really, really, really nice game. Now, before I sort of wrap this video up, um, I occasionally like to um, give shout outs to um, some uh, other YouTube channels that I watch. Um, I do have a Some Good Channels Here sort of playlist. Uh, I think you call it a playlist. Um, listed um, on my channel somewhere where there is some of the uh, channels I watch the most. But I've just discovered another one called The Retro Shed which is kind of like a, it's really sort of like refreshing, um, enthusiastic channel. It appears to be a father and son team, um, Joshua and Barry, who um, basically are really, really enthusiastic about retro systems and retro games. And it's really, really nice. They cover a lot of stuff. Um, it's not just Spectrum, although there is um, quite a healthy um, proportion of uh, Spectrum-related content there. For example, their previous, uh, their, sorry, their most recent video is... Um, 
the Panasonic 3DO, if any of you remember that. I was unfortunate enough to actually have one of them and an Atari Jaguar at the same time. But anyway, it's a really, really refreshing take. It's really, really um, nice to see a youngster um, being infused about um, things that would have been... Uh, uh, big before he was born and seen sort of uh, t take on it through uh, fresh eyes etc so uh, link to the retro shed channel will be in the description down below please 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 support them check them out as indeed all the others that I've uh, mentioned as well it, it doesn't it doesn't cost you nothing and uh, I'm sure they'd appreciate it right so as ever um, I'd like to invite you to um, enter into discussion about Frankenstein. Um, were you a particular fan of the genre? Now, to me, most platform games were really, really tough. Um, Manic Miner, Jet Set Willie, Dynamite Dan, Technician Ted in particular. I'm looking at you as the most guilty parties. 1994 that I covered just last week. Good Lord, that game was tough, although George Cropper made it look um, a piece of cake. Some kind of wizardry flowing out of his fingers there. Right, <coughs> if you like the video, please let me know. If you wish, oh excuse me, <coughs> if you wish to subscribe to the channel, please do so. But if you're going to subscribe, please make sure that you join in the conversation, the discussions, etc. Please um, share your experiences. This is this has been Frankenstein. Really, really nice um, little game. I really enjoyed uh, visiting it again. Please check it out and let me know what you think if um, if you're new to it. Okay, hope the rest of your weekend's fantastic. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.